Point Six digging deeper into how the city of Portland and police bureau are preparing for the possibility of violent demonstrations and clashes set for this Sunday. And it is the one year anniversary of a riot near Salmon Springs Fountain where left and right wing groups traded punches and pepper spray. Our Liz Birch just questioned the mayor and police chief about what they're going to do to keep people safe. Yeah, Dan, I asked the mayor to name the groups that were coming. He turned that question over to police chief Chuck Lavelle. The police chief said he didn't think it was appropriate to answer that question. We want to show you some video right now. Now, the police chief did say many times when we've seen groups with different affiliations clashing with each other, it's often been violent. In a press release, Portland Police Bureau says in the past when people have gathered to confront each other, they've also shown up with dangerous items. They say they've canceled days off for their officers on Sunday. They also say there may be a need to divert their resources to downtown on Sunday, which could impact responses to emergency calls elsewhere. Given this potential strain on the bureau, I asked the mayor if he's talking to the governor about calling in the National Guard. He also asked the chief to answer that question. We're clearly not the organization we were a year ago as far as staffing goes. We have about 145 less people. Um, but within the, the resource constraints we have, we are preparing and working with partners to include Oregon State Police um, and uh, local partners from the metro area to, to put together the appropriate resource package for this weekend. So I guess to clarify, have any conversations happened with the governor about calling the National Guard? No, not at this point for, for this particular event. Mayor Wheeler said he thinks the city's efforts to hold people accountable in destructive demonstrations have been effective. Earlier in the day, the city held a community gathering to denounce hate and violence. Coming up in the next hour, you're going to hear what local leaders had to say then. But for now, live in Portland, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.